Good morning, Internet. This is Alex Sudoku's, and it is Friday the 8th of October 2021. And we have another New York Times hard Sudoku for us today. We're going to solve it using Snyder notations, where if there are two possible places for number, when we scan the grid, we're going to place it. Um, and when I say two possible places, I'm talking about within a box. Basically, so for example, the ones are blocking these cells. So I have two possible places for the one. Similarly here, the ones can't go in these three cells, can't go in those two cells. It must be here. Forming a pointing pair of ones, giving me another pair of ones down here. And of course, if there are more than two candidates, I leave it alone. So I've got six possible candidates in this box. I'm going to leave it. But if there's only one possible location, like this one, I place it. And that is what we're going to do. That is basically Snyder notations. Um, I've got to gloss over twos because I don't think there are anything to do. Yeah, there are only two possible twos and there are three possible locations. But the three looked rather tasty with two possible um, numbers actually solved straight away. Um, also in these two cells, pointing pair of fours here because of these fours. So got another pair of fours here. Four, 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 fives. Fives, I can't see any results. Moving on to the sixes, nothing there. Sevens. I feel like there should be something with the sevens. Got a pair of sevens here, pair of sevens there. Oh, that's about it, really. Morning, Jagger. Pair of eights, pair of eights, and nothing else. Nothing else to say about the eights. Nines are locked in these two cells, meaning that this is a nine. And that gives me a 7-9 matching pair because the 7s and the 9s are blocked from these this T-junction, basically. That leaves us a T-junction, which I would normally look at because um, if you have a box with only a single column and single row left that are free to play, it's worth looking to see if anything is blocking them because that will lead to a pointing pair. But um, yeah, there's nothing here because I've got seven and nine locked, three and four already in this in the um, in the box, so nothing to see here. So, what else can I do with the nine? Well, nothing really. So we've done our first round of notations, and what I'm going to do is look for my box of tissues. What the hell? Where's my box of tissues? It's gone. Oh. It's hidden deep within my drawer. I feel better about life already. Okay. So, what are we dealing with here? Um. We've done a first pass and we haven't really gained much traction. So I think it's worth doing a second scan. And let's see, ones, uh, twos. <sighs> Not seeing anything, threes. Mm. Oh, I have a pair of threes here that I missed. Um, fours are still not really changing. Fives. Oh, hang on. There's a map. There's a weak area here. So these two numbers are six and seven. That's not good for us. Oh, well. So let's continue on. I think we just finished looking at the fours. So how are the fives doing not great not great 
sixes. Oh, sixes are now locked in these two cells thanks to the nine. So that forms a four six matching pair, which means the sixes are down here in the middle. And also these are twos and eights. Okay. We'll pencil mark these in. Mm, that means there's an eight down here now because the eights can't be on column three anymore and it already can't be on column two. So eight, eight, eight. Mm, not very puck. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, two and eight doesn't actually give us any results. That is sad. That is sad. So, how's about the sevens? Any more news on the sevens? News at seven? No. Eight and nine. Yeah, not really winning here. That's disappointing. I'm missing something. So what else does a two and eight do? Well, it forms a one, seven, nine triple on this column. And I've got seven and nine locked in this, um, seeing this cell. So that ought to be a one. So that solves the one to four. And with that, hmm. I guess we've got four and sixes in these cells, but it's not really winning us any prizes. So these are two, five, and six. Let's pencil mark those in. That's not a five. Mm hmm. And this is seven and nine. Also not very useful. Oh, this one? Yes, yeah, solves a one over there. So another pair of ones. So the ones are pencil marked in. Mm. Anything else going on? Oh, hang on. This can't be a two either. Got two and, oops. This can't be two and five, so it must be a six. So, does a six open any doors for us? Sixes are not doing anything for us at all. How disappointing. Um, what is left in this box? Two, seven, nine, and five. Yeah, that's not very useful at all. God damn it. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Oh. This is proving more tricky than I thought it would be. I'm surprised by this. Kind of me surprised. Uh, is there a third scan? One, 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 twos, twos, threes. Pretty sure there's nothing going on here. Fours, fours, still being useless. Fives, fives are not playing balls at all. Six. Six is doing the same thing, which is nothing. Sevens. Come on. Something must be happening. Eight. Oh, hang on. The eights are locked. Oh, this eight locks the eight on columns seven and nine. So I've got eights locked on column seven and nine in these two boxes. That means the eight on column eight must be in this box and there's only one place for it. That opens up the two and eight, which means this is now a two. So that opens up another pair of twos over here. What else does this do? Two, eight. What does that do to this box? That leaves me six, seven, and five. So I know the fives are on top. Therefore the fives are down here. And sevens are pointed now, which means seven and two are resolved. And that tells me there's a pair of twos over here. 
two, two, two. And on this column, we are left with a six, which still doesn't do anything for us. Unbelievable. So six is over there and we have ourselves Oh, do you know what I just realized? Unbelievable. I mean, this, this is unbelievable. Yes, I know, I know. I know it's unbelievable. Um, five, six, seven. What does this do? Oh, I have a seven over here because of these two sevens. So that unlocks another two, gives me a pair of twos there. Hmm. We're starting to form some weak areas, so this can't be a seven anymore. So oops, seven and nine are resolved. So that solves the six. Oh, hang on. I thought that was a six, but no, it's not. Oh, that's also that's also a nine. So oh god damn it. Five. Why do I feel I've made a mistake? Just misreading the grid there. Oh, not quite a critical error yet. Oh, this is seven and six. Okay. So I misread. For some reason, I thought that was also seven and six, but it's not. Okay, so. How has that changed things up? Twos, two to two, sevens. Sevens are locked up there. Mm, I suppose that gives them a pair of sevens here. But it's not really winning any pageants right now. Or six, seven, three. What are these? These are three, four, nine, and eight. Well, I've got three and four in the box already, and I've got nine overseeing this, so that must be a naked eight. So that was a naked single. Nice. Uh, this is now three, four, nine, and the nine. Oh, hang on, it's only one place for the nine, so three and four result, because rows eight and nine are taken. Okay, so that gives me another nine, and I now know the ones and nines are locked together, and these are now six, five, six, and what are they? Five, six, and four. So four and six, I like to lose two so. Oh. Okay, this can't be an eight anymore, so we can solve it. And these are now ones and fours. Commit. These are two, five, and two, five, and three. Right. That means that's a three because that's the only place the three can go, which solves the three over here. And I think that's sort of threes. So this is two and five. Okay. Not useful for us right now. Four, six, and seven here. Got four, so that's six and seven. So that means that's gotta be a four because this can't be a four either. This is a seven, six pair. Uh, oh, hang on. This is five. Oh. This can't be, a, can't be a five, so five must be up here. That solves a six and seven, which solves a six. And this is a five, and that is a four. Do, 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 do. And these are six and sevens again, aren't they? So six and seven are resolved. And we've got ourselves two and five here. This is two, five, and two, five, and six. So six goes here because it is six and that's six. So twos and fives locked in these two. Oh, the two tells me where the twos and fives go. And that's a five. Four and six here. So four, six, four because of that six. And the four tells me where the ones and nines go. Therefore, that's a seven. And that is today's New York Times Hard Sudoku. Um, hope you find it useful. If you did, please leave a like below. 
and if you want me to come to your house and do some Sudokus with you, um, hit the subscribe button and I'll consider it. I do look at my subscriptions for now anyway, and um, I'm sleepy now. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, don't forget I am also on Twitch doing other things including the daily cracking the cryptic genuine accessible Sudoku basically. So nice bit of variant to the day. Goodbye.